Hey everyone, welcome to a Goodie Beater comparison video. Manamo and Michael. My name is Peter. We have here the Kobo Aura 1 and the Kobo Aura 1 Limited Edition. This is the comparison you've all been waiting for. So, with the new 32 gig limited edition, not only does it have more memory, but it has a new rapid page turn engine. We have a dedicated video on our YouTube channel as well as um, our full comprehensive review of the new one, but we will show you in this video what it's all about. But those are the two main selling features. In terms of resolution, they both have the same. They're both 300 PPI, they're both waterproof. They have a lot of you know the same hardware, overdrive, pocket integration, uh, things like that, the, our, um, the, the comfort level light system uh, but let's take a look at the the setting screen so this is one of the two things that are different on this device so we'll have it here so out of the 28.6 32 28.6 available you have 27.6 and on the 8 gig version which is actually 6.7 you have 6.4 so the storage was being hyped as one of the two things that are different on these devices so the price is a little different too uh, the original Kobo Aura one that came out in 2016 retails for $229 has pretty good availability uh, the Kobo Aura one limited edition is only available in the United States off of the US you know Rocky website as well as in Japan for $279. I actually noticed one more thing that's different on these two that is not written on here. If you see on the new limited edition it says Kobo Store. On the 8 gig it says Browse. This actually opens up the Kobo Store but they didn't actually have it written there and we did do an update on this. So this is the other thing the new enhanced page turn speed. This is a thing that's going to be different so we can do page turns by swiping or tapping. And yes, we have all the settings down below on both of these for text and fonts and everything. We're not gonna show you that though because that's not why we're here today. So you can swipe and tap. So if we go like this and we swipe towards the middle and stop, nothing happens. If we do that exact same thing on the limited edition, swipe towards the middle and stop, half a second later, it triggers itself into a rapid page turn speed. It's not the fastest you might be thinking, it's not quite as rapid as they're leading on, but what it is is that it's not refreshing crazily, it's not blurring out, you can you can coherently read everything on the screen. Now, what do you mean by blurring out? Well, if we tap really quickly like that, I can't see what's going on. I mean, it's all messy, look how goofy that looks. But if we utilize- And then it, like, it does a full page yeah. refresh afterwards. If we utilize the advertised fast page turn it's like oh okay there's my chapter oh that was the guy you know your mind can actually take in what you're seeing so that is one of the main things so it's not exactly rapid to the point of you know it's speeding through the book end to end in 10 seconds it's rapid to the point where you can actually see what's going on and Kobo does it a little bit differently with the new uh, Barnes & Noble Nook Lola 3 it also has a rapid page yeah. turn engine but you have to actually hold down one of the physical buttons That's and it right. does it but it more or less does it in the same way that Kobo is doing it as well yeah um one of the interesting things about these two devices is that they're running the same, you know, firmware more or less. So you can rapidly turn it like that. So that is not the new rapid page no. turn system. So <laughs> no. that just bears mentioning. Uh, in terms of what these e-readers are all about, it, software fundamentally is pretty well the same. E minus a few same, yeah. little things here. Um, they're could, the same unit. That's right. Yeah. Kobo Aura 1 Limited Edition has more value. Thanks for watching this comparison video for goodyreader.com. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.